Hi, we loved in the Lord. My name is A. Hey, Milady. This is Heavenly Host Vision with Lady. I'm so glad to welcome you to yet another prophetic word. May the Almighty God bless you and keep you safe, sound, and protected. They are really looking at you and they really want to come back. The one that hurts you so bad is watching you right now so much. And they want to make their way back into your life. Yes, this is the last season when God is bringing to judgment everyone that hurts you. God is bringing to memory. That's God is putting you in the heart or in the, in the memory of those who've hurt you, even, even if they've forgotten about you. They are thinking about you right now and they are not at peace. Somebody is not at peace this moment. And they've been they trying so hard to be at peace with you. They know that they crossed boundaries. They know that they crossed the line. And it's been so long. So, so long. And they thought they had already forgotten about everything. They thought that they, they, they've, they've had a closure with you. They thought that everything, that they're not going to cross path anymore with you. Later did they know that time was going to catch up with them. And that time is now. That time is now. Someone can't have rest. Someone is reflecting and thinking and wondering and, and, and regretting all what they did against all the regrets about what went down the line. They are asking themselves how they got here, how they were able to allow themselves, how they were able, how, how, how were they able to, to convince themselves that it did not hurt you. They are beginning to see that they were just trying to convince themselves that it did not hurt you, but they really, they, they dealt with you treacherously, beloved. They dealt with you seriously. And it's just occurring to them now, right now, that they did what wasn't right. And they do not even know how to, you know, reverse things so that you could come back and be on the same page. So they could, like, gain your, your trust, your confidence. And it's really not really so positive right now when it comes to someone that really hurts you, beloved. They are, they are coming to understand that you meant nothing but good. They, they, are, they have come to understand that you, you wanted the best for them. But at that time, they didn't see it. They didn't understand it. They thought you were working against them. But not just now, they are beginning to realize that you were really working for them. You were really on their side. You were pro protecting them. You were defending them even without them even being aware of what you were doing. But someone took offense. They didn't care to find out what you were doing on the background. They didn't care why you were doing, they didn't care to, to ask to find out why you were doing certain things that appeared as though you were against them, whereas you were really for them. And they've just discovered that you were never against them. And they are regretting the actions that they took against you. They regretted the words that are set against you. They, re they, they, they regretted the, the challenges that, that, that they put on your path. Someone considered you as an enemy whereas you were a friend. You had their back and they didn't, they didn't allow you to even explain yourself. They heard something, they saw something. But they didn't allow you to explain yourself. And you gave it up to God. You gave it to God. You said, Lord, take control of this situation. You're not going to handle it. You, you completely gave it up. You said, Lord, judge it. And God said he's right here now to bring righteous judgment in that situation. He's judging it. And because he's judging it, someone is, is having that, that revelation. Someone is coming back to their senses. Someone is having that revelation that it did something that wasn't right. They did something that was not, wasn't called for. And they are reflecting. 
and God, is, you know, God keeps dropping in their thoughts, in their consciousness, every bit of the bad thing that they did against you. You don't have rest anymore. Expect a call from somebody, beloved. Expect a call from somebody that you're not even expecting. Expect a call from someone that you're not even expecting. Expect to be contacted by someone that you're not even expecting. It's been a long time coming. They thought they could forget about everything. They could go away with whatever that they did against you. They thought they've had a closure with you. They thought that your past will never cross. But who can hide from God, beloved? No one can hide from God, no matter where they are right now. God, they just woke up one morning and thought of you just dropped in their head and started tormenting them. And they're beginning to reflect on all what they did. That, that was meant to destroy you. Psalm 16, verse 7, it says, When the Lord takes pleasure in anyone's ways, He causes their enemies to make peace with them. Were you even an enemy with this person? You will never consider this person or all those people as your enemies. You never consider them as your enemies. But they consider you as their enemy because they thought that you were siding against them but as that wasn't true somebody woke up to see what you did for them and they are regretting their actions against you right now and they are coming for peace at this moment because god has taken delight in your ways you didn't confront them or perhaps you called their attention towards what was going regarding what was going on, but they didn't listen to you. They didn't believe you. They didn't try to understand you. They didn't ask questions. But they went ahead and concluded. They concluded because they had fed them with lies about you. They concluded because the enemy had revealed, shown them negative things about you. But what about now? They're just waking up after years after months, after weeks, and thinking about you and like, oh my God, what did they do against you? Glory be to God. Oh, they are coming to make peace with you. And the peace is not for their sake. The peace is for you because you need this peace. You need this peace in your heart. To be able to excel in whatever it is that you've got going. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. God bless you. I have been Amy Lady. Faith is our vehicle and love is our strength. See you in the next video.